Shalom. We're going to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakako Dash. Double honors to the apostles and them elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim, to the brethren. I've been teaching the words. I mean, it's mother, it's mother loving. <laughs> yeah. I forget his YouTube, man. I keep forgetting. Yeah. I went back to bitch you for my personal videos. Trash. Couldn't do it, man. I was like, bite my. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. spent half the time just thinking about how can I say this in a different way without cussing. Yeah. But uh, today's November 4th, right? Mm -hmm. The day after the election. Mm -hmm. It still ain't no winter. We already knew this was going to happen. All kind of hell and chaos is finna break. It's actually, actually kind of quiet right now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, what's going on? What's going on? Now, we see what's going on. I think this whole thing was planned from the beginning, man. They told you what was going to happen all the way until this time. Mm -hmm. The left hand, they told you this, you no? Know? They told you this was going to happen. There wasn't, they told you that there wasn't going to be no winter on election night. They told you that. This is beautiful though, man. This place is through. America's through. This place is trash. Uh, what does the scripture say? If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Mm -hmm. Let's get that real quick. I'm gonna get it. Ain't that a uh, hold up? What is that? Luke's is that Luke 17? Was it, um... Okay. You can't find it. Oh no, I'm looking for it. I got some real quick. Oh no, I'm sorry, man. That's a different. I got scriptures mixed up. Go ahead, go ahead. It's a uh, Isaiah 19 and two says, "I will um, yeah, yeah two says, I was and I will set uh, the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight one." And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, and this is what they said. It's the new Egypt. Yeah, America's the new Egypt. Egypt. Shit, they got pyramids and shit on the money. Mm -hmm. Everybody out here, they fighting against each other. You got Republicans and Democrats. That's not two different countries. <laughs> They're both Americans. They hate each other. What kind of nation is that? You got, it's like they got two nations within the nation. You know, in the kingdom of heaven, there ain't going to be no political parties. There ain't going to be no sex. You know, you didn't have political sex in the ancient world. Uh, they was like the scribe, with, uh, with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. It was like two different sects. Ain't going to be none of that division in the kingdom of heaven. Everything's going to be be one Israel. Okay, there's going to be one Israel. There's going to be one nation of one people. There ain't going to be no... <laughs> Oh, you got this party and that party, but we believe it a little different over here. No, we all gonna believe it exactly the same. Cause look, cause if you don't all have agreement, your kingdom's gonna be destroyed. It ain't gonna last. Luke eleven and eighteen. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say I cast out devils through Beelzebub. But the point though, we using it for this. If Satan be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? America's Satan, that old serpent, that that devil, that old serpent, the devil's Satan himself. And if Satan's divided against himself. Okay, you Republicans, y'all, you know, y'all's not righteous. Y'all a bunch of, uh, I got to watch what I'm saying. But, you know. <laughs> They think they're so much better than the Democrats. They're all the same, bro. The only difference between the, the right wing and left wing is what? You guys don't like trannies? Y'all believe in the same BS. Y'all believe in freedom of speech and voting. Democracy. All this other madness. Freedom of religion. You know? Where's that at in the Bible? Where in the Bible say you can have freedom of religion? You got, can you give, give me that scripture. You got that? Which one? That freedom of religion scripture. Oh, uh, what? You ain't got one of those? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Well, got, well, he got one of those, man. I'm oh, sorry. What's <laughs> 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 You got respect all religions. You got that scripture? Yeah. You got respect everybody? Yeah, nah. Respect. 
What about the women's equal to the band script? You got that script? Shit. I said, do, hey, the Democrats and Republicans both agree on that one. Mm -hmm. I, I've, have you heard any Republicans say a woman is not equal to a man? No. Nope. They all agree, don't they? Mm -hmm. So they're teaching lies. That's not. That's that's crazy. A woman ain't no equal to no man. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Still so, trying to figure that out. How did that happen? Yeah. You know how it happened, America. That's how it happened. America. Look, I made a video there now. It ain't even process and publish that, man. Be making videos they didn't go up. So what? I tried to upload it three times already, but I was making a video, and I was thinking it's like, you know, the LGBTQ stuff. Would have never been possible if America never existed. Think about that. If there was no America, if there was no America, it was never even thought of. The such things as LGBT would never exist. It'd be impossible. So, see, these Republicans, they're trying to hold on to America and their freedom. Well, your little constitution and all this stuff y'all came up with it, it followed its national, natural path of progression in the LGBT. That's that's what your freedom and your, your led you to. Yeah. Having freedom. That's what freedom gets you. It didn't didn't women's rights start from here too? Yeah. Everything yeah. started in America. Women's rights, everything. Yeah. It's madness, man. That's what America brought you. You know what I'm saying? They flipped the whole world upside down. Said mm -hmm. up was down and down was up. Uh, penises are vaginas, vaginas are penises, boys are girls, girls are boys. You know, everything is just, just don't even make no sense. That's what you get with America, man. This is crazy. So if America never existed, there'd never be no LGBT. Oh, if America never existed, there wouldn't be no Church of Satan. You actually got, it's actually legal to worship Satan in America. You can have your own satanic temple built. You you, you can have membership, and then you can uh, uh what is that? You can get the five hundred one c three tax exempt status with the government, with the Church of Satan, mm -hmm. or whatever devil worship a church. You can be a pagan. You can worship Thor and Odin in America. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, at my job. Two niggas at my job got that little. The little ugly ass bathroom that shit. With the I'll be dude's stars. ass like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll, hey we'll. <laughs> you see that? Though? It makes you mad, don't it? Yeah. The motherfucking uh, when that time comes, we're gonna give us spiritual powers. You know, or the angels, whatever. How we're gonna do? Out of the way, them niggas gonna be destroyed. Fucking weirdos. Was they white dudes? Yeah. I only watch some white dudes gonna wear that shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, Jay, that's not even true. Cause Jay, I was watching this. Uh, I just seen a with a, uh, a Jake with a. Upside down pentagram shirt with a baffle with a goat head and all that. Oh shit! I just thought of something. <laughs> you seen that? Uh, you be on YouTube and shit, and they be like hella ads showing so-called blacks and Latinos hard for Trump. Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of those. It, it is funny. It's like why y'all just showing the blacks and Latinos? That tells you that we're the Israelites. They they pushing that shit hard. Oh blacks from blood from Trump. And you got that nigga. Uh, he said he said uh, come up here, little pimp. The dude, that's his name, Lil Pump or some shit. Oh, Lil Pump? Yeah. Oh, he talk, he, did he talk to Lil Pump? I didn't see that one. Yeah, he told I heard him, about it. I didn't get to see it. He told him to come up here. He said, come up here, Lil Pimp. I was like, what? He called him Lil Pimp? Yeah, I was like, dude, come on, man. And he came up there and said, yeah, Trump 2020. I was like, come on, man. That's your boy Trump getting the rapper vote. Because, hey, that's true, though, because he trying to, uh, <laughs> them motherfuckers, it's all about the taxes. Yeah. That's why they support him, because of the goddamn taxes. Because mm -hmm. they're they making good money. You know, you know, your boy Biden get here. I think they were saying he was trying to take like sixty five percent of their taxes. Yeah. They was like, "Fuck Biden!" God damn, <laughs> God damn. that's ridiculous. <laughs> Cause them boys are making that good money, bro. Shit. You know, they ain't trying to pay all them taxes. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, he even got Lil Wayne came out supporting Trump. You see that shit? Yeah. What's that? That's crazy. Going on to Egypt. I got that screwed. Let me see. But Trump, bro, Trump, man, he ain't even got no real power, bro. Damn it, I swear you <laughs> E G Y P T is one of them days. E G. Sometimes they get you. E he's E Y G E G Y. I'm gonna mess you up there. <laughs> Egyptos, Egyptos. That's the land of the heathens, the supreme land of the heathens. Man, this color looks weird in here, doesn't it? 
the that looks trippy. Uh, this this is Isaiah 30, and uh, one says, "Woe to the rebellious children." Say, man, y'all some rebellious children out here, man. I'm yeah. talking to our fa our family, <laughs> our people, our fans, our family. Yeah. We're talking to our people. Our, you know what I mean? Oh man, y'all rebellious. You don't want to listen to none the Lord has to say, man. Like y'all ever here bickering and fighting over politics? Y'all fight over that, but what you want to fight over the word of the Lord though? You know? Mm -hmm. They gonna get over. They're getting somebody's face over an orange man bad, or they gonna get in your face over some Trump. But you ain't gonna get nobody's face with no scriptures. Where's the scriptures at? You ain't coming. That's the real truth. All this, nah, this is all some bullshit. Okay, this is the laws right here. This is the law. No, I said the phone. Dude, I can get no real Bible. <laughs> I was like, this is the law right here. <laughs> I got my Bible app on my phone, bro. But the Bible, that's that's the law. Hey, that's the government. Because what's the, what's the government going to be in the kingdom? It's going to be the kingdom of Israel. It's going to be ruled by the Israelites, okay? We're going to be ruling under Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, okay? And that's it. And the Israel is going to be the, the we're going to be the ruler, rulers over the entire earth. We ain't going to inherit all the nations. And all the nations are going to be our servants. And that's going to be the kingdom of heaven, okay? That's the government. It's called the Commonwealth of Israel. You know, they're talking about the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what that's where it's going. Oh man, we gotta get the yeah. right before the camera. I was listening to the radio, but we had to make a video. But I, I think they was about to make a speech or something because they was fighting over Pennsylvania. Sure. I guess they said Biden was doing some dirty shit in Pennsylvania or something. They had a, I guess they sent Rudy Giuliani in there. Yeah. I guess he to go in there and intimidate some. Who knows what they was doing? Or maybe yeah. to blackmail some people. Then rule. <laughs> he was blackmailing the hell out of everybody. That's how he be getting them. You know he's a lawyer, right? Rudy sure. Giuliani. I, I guarantee you, that's a dirty some bitch right there. Damn. Like behind closed doors, mm. he's a shrewd operator. Dude. You know, mm. all just all them dudes, man. They all blackmailing the hell out of each other. You know, yeah, but when you see that one with Rudy Giuliani, I can't say his name, Giuliani. He was dressed up as a, a in drag, and Donald Trump gave him a kiss. Ugh, yeah. That was years ago, before oh, he was president. He gave him a kiss, or he gave him a kiss, or pretended like he was kissing him. It was pretty gay, and they're really good friends, because uh, Giuliani's is so. There's some weird going on there, and they did say Trump was on that Epstein plane. No, I ain't got no proof. I'm just saying, because they did say that. So man, you put it to you put it together, man. Mm. Figure it out. Yeah, well, it says. See if he how would that take counsel, but not of me, and the, uh, that covering with a covering, but not of my spirit. That that they yeah, they got that covering. The covering is not of the spirit of the Lord. You know, the spirit of America. That's the spirit of the devil. The spirit of Christi Christianity. That's the spirit of the devil. I'm talking about God love everybody, all nations can be saved. That's the spirit of the devil. That's a heresy. Oh, that's your boy Steve. That is, oh, that ain't Steve, is it? I don't know. Uh, you know that dude to be down there at the mills? You ain't seen him? He, uh, you got a dope-ass car like that. Trash. Uh, what was I saying? I got distracted. Steve. Steve. <laughs> That's it. Through. Read that part again. So yeah, read that again. That would recharge me. I mean, I'm tired as hell, too. But I can't. <laughs> it said that take counsel, but not of me. Oh, they take it. That's it right there. Read that Read that through that whole thing. It says, I woke to the rebellion of his children, said, Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, and that they may add sin to sin. Y'all add sin to sin, man, because y'all is not... Y'all is not judging anything according to righteousness. What's the scripture on that? Judge according to righteousness? Oh, oh, that's judge. judge righteous judgments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is that judge righteous judgment? Oh, that's John, oh, that's John 7. seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. John seven. Judge. Well, he said judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgments. Mm -hmm. So you supposed to be judging righteous, righteous judgments out here, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all judging according to your little. Well, you believe you're not judging people according to the Bible. Like, let's just go to the politics. Cause that's the season. That's the only thing on my mind right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
Actually, I've been thinking about the missiles, too, man. Don't forget about the missiles. Y'all mm-hmm. thinking about this election. I woke up this morning thinking about the missiles. Mm-hmm. Don't forget about the missiles. But, uh... I'm, I'm, we talk about politics. I'm like Joe Biden over here, bro. I can't remember nothing. <laughs> what did he say? Judge righteous judgments. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> these people, they judge everything according to you know what they've been taught in America. Mm-hmm. You know, no, nah, you supposed to judge things according to the Bible. Mm-hmm. Okay, according to the Bible. You know, they judging things according to what? Oh, the Constitution. All right, he's that's, he's going. That's unconstitutional. <laughs> unconstitutional. <laughs> My rights. I want to speak to your manager. Yeah, I want to speak to you. And they do say that, though, that your yeah. supervisors. Trash. I want to speak to you about the supervisor. So, psh, bust your window out. Fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. You supervise that broken glass on your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, man, these people, man, I hate these people out here. Mm. Man, you. you <laughs> Bro, look, if I if I wins up in the, in the hood, because everybody right, uh, Trump won Ohio, you know that, by a big margin. Yeah. So all these fools out here fucking love Trump. Mm-hmm. So if I went out here, and if I was talking all this Trump shit, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's my, that's my dude, bro, yeah, USA, well, all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. They get amped. But but I start hitting with the scriptures. They, they, why you, man, why you talking about that, man? Mm-hmm. Uh, why you shut the fuck up? You need to shut the fuck up with that shit, you know? Well, I thought Trump was a Christian. Thought y'all was riding with the Bible. Because mm-hmm. I do it all, the, it happens all the time. Because I'm a work and stuff, working with people. Mm-hmm. And I'm always hitting people with scriptures. You know what I mean? All the time. I just can't help it. You try to hold it back. But especially if you're friends with people already, we be joking around at work. I can joke with people. You know? I, start, I hit them with scriptures, bro. Like I call them sluggers and slothfuls. I hit them with a slugger script. We made a video on it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Then my dude guy actually oh, called yeah. him in a video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I be hitting with scriptures all the time. But see, if I'm over there talking about politics shit, talking about Trump, oh, they listen in when I'm talking to politics because I know all that shit because they like to get information. They know I know everything. They ain't got to watch the news. Oh, I'm just going to ask him. Mm-hmm. He knows fucking everything. Okay, so they add, they get all the But when I, you know, they want to hear all that, get all the good information. When I start hit hit them with the scriptures, oh now it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Now it's a problem. What do you th- how do you think we get all this information, all this knowledge? You know, all this insight. How do you think we always predict in the future? You know? I mean it's not hard to do is pay attention. Mm-hmm. Watch. What's that scripture? Watch. Uh watch as well as pray. Hey, get that one. You know what I say? Get that one. Cause you gotta be watching, man. If you ain't <laughs> It's not hard to predict the future. Like we said, what I tell you? Mm. You asked me when, when, when is they going to elect the president or something? Yeah. <laughs> that was like, yeah. I don't know, January. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, they might do it today. I don't know. But I, I knew we ever we knew they was going to delay it. We knew there wasn't going to be no winner last night. We knew that because I mean they told you there wasn't going to be a winner. I mean you got to watch, and everybody else is in shock. Like, oh my god, bro, you knew it was going to happen. You know the average moron. <laughs> Look at my mom. It's like that. Well, dude, I love my mom, right? But my mom doesn't watch the news or nothing. Mm. So what? Or you know what I mean? Or my other older family or whatever. They don't watch the news. All these old heads. These, you know, these baby boom. People try to call me a boomer. I ain't no boomer. You know, real baby boomers grew up post World War Two. These, these, they don't know nothing, bro. They think everything CNN says is true. They think they think Fox News is real news, you know. They think cable news is real news and real info. They think cable news is trustworthy information, you know. They ain't got a clue. They they they've been raised, you know, to put trust in the system and to do whatever you're told. Cause that was that spirit back in the 1950s, you know. Mm-hmm. Those are the hardest people to get through to, especially teaching them anything, the Bible, anything. They ain't gonna listen. <laughs> the baby boomer generation. Oh my God, mm-hmm. they, must, they gone. Yeah, this is uh, Mark thirteen and thirty five. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing. Save you gotta watch, man, because you don't you don't know when the Lord's coming back. That's why you gotta watch. That's why that's another you gotta watch, and then you gotta speak. 
First you watch, you see what happens, and you speak and you warn the brothers. You tell everybody the mark of the beast. You say they pumping this shit up. So we're gonna have to watch so we have to keep watching this thing to see where they heading with this coronavirus. You gotta watch it. You can't get lazy be like I'm gonna you gotta keep your eye on it. You know, cause they always this devil's always making moves, changing plans, switching switching things up. You know? You gotta watch to see where this coronavirus vaccine's heading. If we know where it's headed, they gonna it's gonna go to the market of beasts. It might head to another hey, this coronavirus, this might just be the first virus. They might come out with another virus. Like, oh y'all thought coronavirus was a joke. Okay. You know? Because they, 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 they're trying their best to push forward their agenda. But ultimately, they're not going to succeed. They're going to chip a whole lot of people, but they're not going to chip everybody. The scriptures told us that, you know, the elect, we ain't getting chipped. Go ahead. It says, or, at the, uh, or in the morning, he's coming suddenly, he finds you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. So, yeah, y'all can't be sleeping. A lot of y'all out there sleeping. Y'all slothful and you sluggers sleeping. You know, ain't been warning the people. A lot of y'all don't even watch the news. You don't watch the news. Well, watch the news. Hey, watching the news doesn't mean watching Fox News and CNN. You got you got to find some better trustworthy sources. And that actually, what you got to do is you got to look at all the sources. When you're when you see a big time story come out, you don't just look at one video like, okay, I know what's going on. No, you don't know what's going on. You got to analyze all the information that's out there coming from all different sides. Like when you see something that happens in politics, you, you got to look at uh, what the right is saying and what the left is saying. You got to examine both sides to get the full picture. You know what I mean? You gotta, so you got to watch, man. You got to be diligent. Uh, time is. That was 4.50 already? What time did you get out here? I don't know, 4.00. Alright, we do about another 5 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back over there. Yeah. This, this, this is uh, Luke 21. And uh, 34 says, and take. Shit, loud as hell. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come, and that's the thing, you gotta take heed to yourself. Cause then you might get too slothful, you might get lazy, you might get too laid back, and then you gonna start caring for the world, and then you're gonna start Losing your focus, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay focused on this truth. And you know, something would do that easy to There's two things that do that to you to really make you lose focus. One is money. Mm -hmm. Well, you get a good job or something, you start making all kind of money. That make a lot of y'all lose focus. And another thing is the woman. A lot of y'all get with a fine-ass woman. Or shit, a lot of y'all get with a fat hoe. Uh, forget this is YouTube. Oh, my God. A lot of y'all, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying. The woman, man. All you want to do is lay up with a woman all day. And then you're like, oh, I ain't got to do no videos today. I just want to be with you, baby. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I wonder how many guys is like that. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to stop going out teaching, baby, so I spend more time with you. I wonder how many times this happened. And they probably use a different excuse of why they fell out. Mm -hmm. But really, the real excuse is because of the woman. Mm -hmm. Or she was she was nagging, like, you, you got to stop going out there. You know? That's why I ain't got no woman. I be trying, I'm looking for a woman. I need a woman, right? Yeah. Which, I ain't find one that's worthy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't find one that's worthy. You know, like, you can't force these things. You can't force a woman. The woman that you want to be with, you can force it. You gonna just take the first one that comes your way, you know? And settle down with that? Get out of here. You crazy. Uh, the scripture says, "Don't give yourself to a light woman." You know what I'm saying? She might, she might be pretty, but she, she might, something, something might be off about her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you might have to, like, bitch, go on somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I know if the spirit ain't clicking. Mm -hmm. If I don't feel your the, the spirit clicking and the, you know how you do that good feeling you get. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. dealing with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You might get. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about what we could do, but. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's, it's hard to find a keeper, man. Mm -hmm. 
it's too hard to find a keeper. One you actually want to keep around you. That's a shame. That's a, I'm going to say that, like, that's a disgrace. That's, that's Donald Trump's favorite word. Yeah. Like every other word, that's a disgrace. Yeah. That's a disgrace. Yeah. Very disgraceful. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said last night. He came. Did you watch it two in the morning? No. You got uh, weak. I was asleep. He got weak. Went to sleep. <laughs> Bro, I was up till like I was up till like. Ugh. <laughs> and I had to work late as hell last night. Bro, I'm tired as hell. I had to see because I wanted to see if someone's go go down. I had to get the news before I went to sleep. You know, I just had to know. I thought you know, he could have went hard, but like, all right, we arresting everybody and yeah. lock it down, yeah. you know? <laughs> oh, that's what I was hoping for, Robbie. Yeah. I set my hopes too high. That's, the, you know, I'd be, I'd be wishing, I'm optimistic, though. That's what that, that's what you say, hope and pray. Mm -hmm. We hope, that's what being hopeful is, being optimistic. Mm -hmm. But really, we opt, we're optimists. People think we're pessimists. We're not pessimists. They think we're pessimists because we're saying this place is trash. And we're saying it's going to be destroyed. That's not being pessimistic. That's being a realist. Because really it's being optimistic because we know for a fact this place is wicked and evil and the Lord's going to destroy it. And we know it's going to be destroyed. You know what I mean? We know the Lord going to deliver us. We know this ain't going to continue forever. That's optimism. Okay? Who else you know is talking about America going to be destroyed? Yeah, that's optimism right yeah. there. Cause that's the only hope. What other hope you got to get us up out of here? Yeah. Are we gonna build a brighter, better future together in America? Yes. Great, great, great again. <laughs> I gotta be talking like one of these politics. Yeah. Build a brighter, yeah. better America. Yeah. Make a better future for our children. Yeah. Man, they've been saying that. Been saying that they've been saying that ish for years, yeah. years and years, yeah. and years, and the future ain't got better. This shit gets more grim. What's another word? Grim. Through. Dark. Gay. Evil. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got real gay out <laughs> here. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's America though. If there was no America, you wouldn't have all the that LGBT years, bro. It's getting more weird. It's getting weird. Like it's, <laughs> it is getting weird though, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. It's some weird there's some creepy ass weirdos out here, man. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. just the one, and that, that's the ones that let you know that they're weirdos. Yeah, they're openly weirdos. Yeah. So then you got the secret weirdos. Yeah. Now the people ain't just gay; they, they just taking gay to a whole fucking new level. Like God. Really, damn. you know what that is deep inside their heart? That's just straight up blasphemy towards the Most High. Mm -hmm. You know, they even just, you know, mm -hmm. they know what they're doing in it. You know, deep in their heart, man, y'all know what y'all's doing is wrong. You know that in your spirit when you're getting your uh. Your uh, anal cavity blown out. You know that's wrong. You know that's sinful. That's why they be. That's why they be getting mad. They be like, "Fuck God!" Ugh. Yeah. Like, if you if you don't even believe he's real, then why would you even go? Like, why I know you, why you go so ballistic, yeah. go nuts. Why you going? What, bro? What's, nigga hurt. Like, why you mad? What's that? Why you mad, bro? Why he you so hurt. mad? That motherfucker hurt, hurt. That's why you hurt. You hey, that's why I said this is like when people get on the comment board scoffing. This. What, when people get mad and when people scoff, start scoffing and stuff, you know, when they're in their feelings, mm -hmm. when somebody gets in their feelings, that's no, that's when you know you got them. Mm -hmm. That's when that's how you know you got them right there. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to say nothing else after that. You got them. Mm -hmm. The spirit don't fuck them up. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, I don't use a cuss word. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's that word of the Lord is a two-edged sword. Dividing what to even to the center, the soul, the spirit. I'm messing the scripture up, going up into the marrow and the joints and all that. Yeah. It, that is the, the word of the Lord. Get all up in, all up inside you, man. Mess your, mess you up, make you go crazy. You know, if you're a demon when he's heathen, bro, the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, get up in you. He'll mess you up, bro. He'll torment you spiritually and mentally. Go ahead. You got something? Yeah, uh, uh, oh shit, I thought I did. <laughs> what the? I was, okay, I'm, I'll probably just look for something else. Okay, I, got, I gotta go to the mint. Uh, I gotta bring my dad some uh, medicine. Yeah. But, uh, where's that one where it said, uh, the word is a fire? It's a Jeremiah 5, right? It was Jeremiah 28. I think. 
It says, it's not my word like fire. Yeah. It's either 28 or 29. Fire. What did I say? 28 is 23 and 29. Uh, I knew it was 20. I don't know why. 20 something. <laughs> This is uh, Jeremiah 23, 29. It is not my word like a, as a fire, said Yahweh, uh, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Just, hey, this word burn you up, bro. Yeah. That's why we say, we, well, we say, uh, that's why we got that teaching. You hear that good scripture, like, whoo, that's fire. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake just call everything fire naturally, you know. Mm -hmm. They see some new Jordans. You get to see my shoes. They be like, ooh, that's fire, mm -hmm. you know. But you hear them scriptures, you're like, whoo, that's that fire. That's that fire scripture. You know, that's how I saw these, like, give me some fire scriptures. Because we coming with that heat. You know what I'm saying? We coming with that heat. Mm -hmm. With that heat. Yes, yes, Got y'all sweating out here. Yeah. You know, it looks like y'all just yeah. chucked a whole gallon of hot sauce. Yeah. You know, wouldn't it be debating this? They yeah. be sweating, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> it, you yeah. ever watch that wing uh, eating contest? On YouTube, they be eating. The, well, not the contest, <laughs> but it's a, uh, the dude does the interviews. They eating the wings. What the hell? Oh yeah, the I wing saw. champ or something. Yeah. Or what's that called? I forgot. I you know what I'm that. saying? Everybody watch yeah. that bullshit. Hot ass wings. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they doing it. They be tapping out. Yeah. Every time they debate with it, they tapping yeah. out. Like, give me, give me some milk. Yeah. Give me some water. <laughs> Put out this fire. Yeah, we got them. Out. They tap him. Yeah. We got, <laughs> we got their arms just twisting it. Yeah. Like, you still going too. After you tap. I ain't tapping. <laughs> I ain't. Snap. <laughs> I can't stop. It's too fun. True. <laughs> this is WWE shit. What's this shit? The Girl, you know when you get in this spirit. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah, WWE, they be tapping, he don't yeah. let go. <laughs> and then his boys come out, they start beating and shit up. And then they hit him with a trash can. Right. <laughs> that's how we gonna do y'all, bro. In the spirit, though, that's how we do y'all in the spirit. Uh, that's, that's how your boy Vote Cat Malone got. Spiritually speaking, uh, if we beat him up, put him in the trash can, yeah. rolled him down the steps... Kicked him, yeah. hit him with a baseball bat, right. threw gasoline on him, lit him on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Through. That's just hilarious. I'm done, man. <laughs> That's it. Oh, shit. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, man, we out of here. We want to say Shalom. Shalom. Yes, sir. I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> <laughs>